Hi, Leo. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this, Leo. Um, when I was shuffling off camera, I heard good, good energy, good vibes, or something like that. So I'm hoping and praying that this reading is really good, but it doesn't even matter. Good vibes, good energy to you, Leo. All right. So thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So let's see what's coming in for you this week. The Ten of Wands. All right. And the advice, the Five of Swords. Ooh, okay. Okay. And the outcome, the Five of Cups. Ooh. All right, Leo. What's going on? I heard good vibes, good energy. Even if you, okay, so even if you are met with this type of conflict, this type of energy, know that, um, you know, stay in good spirits, stay in good energy and good vibes. Um, the Ten of Wands here, somebody could be taking you for granted or you're taking someone else for granted. Some of you are wondering where a relationship is going. Um, maybe with a masculine energy, it could be another man, doesn't have to be, just somebody who's coming up in their masculine energy. Somebody's like, look, we're doing all of this together. We live together because the wands could talk about living together. Uh, it was Ten of Wands anyway. Um, we're doing all these things together. Uh, but where is this going? You see how this man is carrying his heavy load so much that he doesn't even know the direction he's going in. So some of you feel that way about the relationship. Like you don't know which direction the relationship is going in. Um, you're just doing a lot with this person. Uh, maybe even traveling to see this person. Um, so the advice is the five of swords. Um, make sure people aren't just telling you what you want to hear. They aren't playing mind games. They are uh, engaging in trickery. Um, make sure that someone is being, you know, upright. You may have to learn when, you know, when to cut your losses, when you've lost the battle. When you just need to walk away here also. Um, maybe, and also maybe someone else needs to learn when to walk away. Me needs to learn when to cut their losses here. It seems as if there's a lose-lose situation here with the Five of Swords. Um, there could be bad blood between you and a, and a love partner. This, the Fives talk about love affairs, uh, childishness, childish behavior, drama. So, um... There could be drama because someone is wondering where the relationship is going. Uh, it seems like every day is a struggle in this connection. Someone feels taken for granted. Um, some of you do some backbreaking work also. You're doing a lot in order to stay afloat. Um, the Ten of Wands here. It seems as if um, there's something in this relationship that needs to be examined. But you keep either overlooking it or they're overlooking it. You just keep wanting to push it under, under the rug. But... The cards are saying you need to really look at this thing before it kind of blows up in your face, uh, before you, you can no longer avoid it. If you uh, are in a relationship, yeah, you, you guys need to talk about what's going on here. And if you're single, it says you need to take a break from dating anyhow. You might just need to date yourself and figure out things for you with the Ten of Wands here. Um, maybe because somebody's kind of, they're not being honest also. You know, they, they have a very high level of um, self-aggression. Like, they're very aggressive. Um, there could be lack of communication. And maybe that's why, maybe effective communication. You're asking questions in terms of where is this relationship going or what are we doing or what are you up to. Uh, the outcome is the Five of Cups. So, um, I don't know, missed opportunity uh, also coming up here for you. Um, Somebody is too focused on other elsewhere or other things um there's a breakdown in the communication uh, it says that the relationship is recoverable but you guys got to do the work there's a lot of distance emotional distance between you and someone else you didn't get what you wanted somebody's missing you or you're missing them or you're missing the the closeness the connection let's see what's going on here let's get a, a kipper card here okay this card one yeah bad health it's like this relationship is on its last leg something could be dying it's bad health um, also somebody could be trying to keep a relationship just you know sex only just keep it in the bedroom if somebody was doing a lot in the bedroom and thought maybe that would keep someone 
Um, somebody is definitely focused elsewhere here. Somebody's grieving the loss of. Somebody feels like they they've lost their friend and they lost the connection. Somebody feels like they're running out of time. Also, somebody feels like somebody just gives them lip service. They just say what they want to hear, but they don't mean it. Again, the mind games. This is what I have for you, Leo. Um, if it resonates, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Find me here or come to the live stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday night, 930 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can ask questions. You can also just come for the collective reading. You can donate to the channel by clicking the Buy L a Coffee link. Um, and I think that's everything. Or go over to the website and book your own reading there. Thank you, Leo. Take care.